one easy craft how to make a pom-pom bat and there's three different ways to use them we love them as pencils pencil -puss. we love them as keychains and they look really sweet as a series of bats that you can hang up on like a um, Halloween garland really really cute so I'm going to show you now how to make this wonderful so to make our bats we're going to need obviously some wool or yarn today i'm using a pom-pom maker which i will link below i really like these pom-pom makers they're really easy to use um, but i have this great video which shows you how to make pom-poms out of cardboard okay so check that out if you don't have a pom-pom maker which to be honest is fair enough because not really everyone's got one of these you will also need um, a little bit of black felt some googly eyes i mean again the googly eyes are optional you could just use some white felt and make your own eyes some scissors if like me you're going to turn it into a, a, <clears throat> a keychain you need one of these things that you can also buy online and an old pencil like this one if you want you can actually paint the pencil first i think this this orangey color is quite good for halloween and you also need glue now i'm going to be using my hot glue gun today simply because on the video that makes it a lot easier but if you use a good quality glue um, you should be able to do that too um, and i can put some links into some of the glues that we like uh, so yes yeah, so the first thing is i'm going to just move this aside a little bit so it doesn't get in the way you start making your pom-pom like I said, I've got links below and in the iCards of how to uh, make your own pom-poms using cardboard. Um, but we, like I say, these pom-pom makers are quite fun and really easy to use. So the first thing is you basically attach, not attach, but just start wrapping your wool around. Now my kids, they love these pom-pom makers because actually they can actually pretty much do them themselves. So you wrap it around. I'm going to speed this up and then show you what next. Okay, so just one note, I've got a video on how to use these uh, clover makers if you want to look at it in detail, but the important thing is, is that this is free, okay? So you've got no wool kind of crossing over like this because then otherwise it can get stuck. Also, I think it's really important to get them as thick as possible. Um, so, you know, try and get it as chunky as you possibly can. So then once you've got um, that all ready, we shut them, give it a little snip like so okay that's your pom-pom and now holding it tight so it doesn't fall apart you need to cut all the way around now this can be quite tricky and we find having some good little scissors like these ones uh, really work now make sure that the pom-pom maker does not open up once you've cut okay it does it wants to open because it's quite full but try and keep it shut and then you take your wool now if you're using it as a keychain, so if later you want to add it to this, I recommend adding not just the wool because look, wool can rip, yeah, and you don't want it to rip whilst it's on your backpack or your keys. So I recommend that you also use, um, I don't know, something like baker's twine, something that's really strong to knot off your pom pom, um, or maybe you know go around two or three times. So you basically wrap it round the centre like so, and give it a good tight pull like this so I might just do it again as well just kind of give it extra secure if you're going to use this for hanging on a uh, Halloween garland you want to have a nice long piece of, um, of yarn sticking out at the end so you can hang it up okay but again for me because I'm going to make this into a <clears throat> a pencil topper we don't need that so here these ones have got a nice long piece of string for hanging so open it up like so, open this side, like so, pull it apart, woohoo, you have a pom-pom. Now the pom-pom makers have a tendency to make slightly oval pom-poms, so they're not perfectly round, but for the um, bats I really like that, I mean of course they can be perfectly round, That's it's not a problem. Um, but I quite like it when they're not perfectly round like this, I just give it a little trim so as you can see this is the small pom-pom if you use this size you get that size but I quite like this for the pencil toppers now you need to make your embellishments so I take my scissors again 
and cut two little ears. So the little ears basically are just two triangles. Make them slightly longer than you want because you can also trim it down but also you need um, you need a little bit that goes inside your inside the pom-pom for it to then stick out so to speak. So you're allowing for some gluing area. So this wasn't very neatly cut was it? So I'll just cut that bit neater actually. I've chosen green because these are for Halloween and I think green's a good Halloween colour but also because my son loves green. Here we go, so just check that you like the length. I like that, so that's good, I'm happy with that. You can make them a bit fatter if you want. And now you need to make the wings. Now to do the wings, I always find it handy um, to kind of get your pom-pom like this and then sketch, you know, have a rough shape like this. So this is like a, a wing and you're quite happy with that, okay. Then you go like, start making the outline a bit more accurate, like so. So you have the rough size first, then you get the pointy bit, like so, and then you go put some little curves into it. There we go. So now I have a, a rough template. It's not very accurate, it doesn't matter, because <clears throat> I think they'll all look good. But that's how I get the, the basic size and shape. And the reason I do it on paper first is because you don't want to waste your black felt. Now if you don't have black felt, you can use black card but it won't last as well. It could get bent or squashed. If you're using it as a garland, that's fine. If you're using it as a little decoration, you know, black card will work. So I'm just checking if I like this. Oh, yep, I like it. And then, um, you know, but if you're using it as a, as a keychain, I think cardboard would just basically get squished. I think as a pencil topper, cardboard's all right. Just look after your pencil. That's like the little claw that you sometimes get on this on a on a bat. You don't have to have a claw if you don't like it. Okay, so I have two wings, two ears, two eyes. Now notice my wings are smaller because it's a smaller pom-pom. So if you've got a bigger pom-pom, you know, just create your, your draft or, uh, and make it a little bit bigger, which is why I don't have templates because I don't know what size pom-pom you've got. Um, so I'm just going to trim that tiny bit more. Now, with the wings, you just flip one over and then they point in the both directions and like so. Now, if you're using ordinary glue, what I do is I put glue on, well, I'm going to do it this way anyway, actually. <laughs> So I'm going to put a bit of glue on with a hot glue gun. It does work with ordinary glue. I used ordinary glue there. Then you part your pom-pom a bit and you put it in the middle and squeeze. I'm going to repeat it on the other side. Oopsie. This is where I drop my hot glue gun on the floor, isn't it? And I open it, pop it in. It is a little bit fiddly to squeeze it in, especially if you're using the hot glue gun. I actually think for this bit, normal glue is a bit better. But the hot glue gun is better for um, doing videos and showing you how it works. And I'm going to part the top and get it ready. There we go. In fact, So, oopsie, keeps sticking to my fingers, doesn't it? Squish it in, like so. Now, what I've been enjoying doing lately also is adding little pink cheeks, just cutting out circles of pink cheeks. So I'm gonna play with that later and maybe add those. And if I do, it'll be um, out of pink felt. Yep, so you might see them. Now with the googly eyes, because they are fiddly, you might want to put the glue 
on here first, you might find that easier. Here we go! Oh, oh my goodness, it's so cute! <sighs> Sorry, I do get a bit excited, don't I? Now, put lots of glue. Actually, firstly, part your, get this ready. Get this ready, open it up a bit. Like so. Now put, look, it's been chewed, this pencil. Perfect to get rid of it and make it special and new again, isn't it? Lots of glue. If you Again, if you're using ordinary glue, it will work. You just have to let it dry a bit longer. And I'd put a similar amount of glue on. Push it into place. And then squeeze the rest of the pom-pom around the bottom. And there you have your bat pom-pom pencil topper. Brilliant. Now, it's a bit overexposed because this is really bright green. Uh, what you then do for these ones is you can just knot this onto your keychain, or if you want, this one's got a little hook on it, I can bury inside and hook it on, and that's how you attach the keychain. Really, really easy. And like I say, these would also look really nice as a um, garland, so make, make maybe 10 of them and string them all up. I think they look really cute. And if you're having a Halloween party, these make really good uh, favors in the, in, you know, in, the, in the party. You can make them during the party and then people can take them home. And if your family, for example, doesn't want candy or treats at, at Halloween because there's too many sweets around, these make really good little gifts as well. Anyway, as always, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, we'll see you here again soon on Red Ted Art.